Hey guys, I'm doing a quick review on this monitor right here. Now, it's been working okay, and I am about to return it. And what is that? Well, I can't really read the text. Now, in this video that I'm making right now, you guys won't be able to see that well, what I'm saying, but, and even if I do a screen recording, uh, you guys still won't be able to, because the screen recording just works differently. So the best way to show you is kind of this way. So what I'm gonna do right now is go into, let's go to Wikipedia. So just to show you what I'm saying. So even if you, you're, not, you're not a big reader or something, you always have to read web pages, right? There's content that you need to read, so whether or not. And what I'm talking about, it's not just this content, it's um, the small text. So even if you zoom in on it, you guys will see this, you kind of see the T, let me just focus right there. So you see the T, okay, how it's uh, kind of bold, kind of. So that happens throughout the entire thing with this monitor. So it, pulled, it puts some letters like bold and others not. So it's kind of weird, even on the tabs, like everywhere, everywhere. If you're going to your files, it's not just web pages, it's everywhere on your screen. Um, even when you're looking at the time, stuff like that, it's just not that clear. So when you're trying to read stuff from this, it's really horrible. And I am a graphic designer, so I need to read some stuff. <laughs> and other stuff is very visual. So just to show you the video quality from this type of monitor, um, and I do apologize about the shaky video again, but just wanted to make something really fast. Now, as you can see, video quality is good. I don't have any complaints about video quality. Um, the screen has been a little bit glitchy these days, so that's why I'm about to return it. But other than that, it's mainly, mainly because of this, because I can't read that fast and that well with this. As you can see, even the A right here, if I can focus this, it's kind of bold, and then the M. So obviously if you look into your tabs, you guys won't see that. And I did adjust the color, I did adjust like a bunch of stuff, I messed around with settings to see if um, maybe I could fix it just by just going over to some settings, but I wasn't. So although I messed around with settings and stuff, I still have this. I used this as my second monitor. So it's not, you know, that important of a monitor, but I still need to read stuff from it. So there's my iMac, and this monitor is just secondary. And um, yeah, I mean, it's been working pretty well, but again, if, if you guys want to read basic stuff, I don't recommend this monitor. Like I said, it does that to all the text and kind of highlights images as well. So, for example, even stuff like this. Okay, see this title right here? See how there's a black outline on the text? Now you're saying, oh, but maybe that's how the video is made, right? No, no. I did not outline my text with black outlines, okay? I created this image, and there's no outline on it, okay? On the original one, it's nice and crisp and there's no black outline. But my monitor shows me everything with a black outline. So see here, same thing. If you look at this in your phone or something like that, you guys will not see a black outline because I never outline my text, never, 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 never. So you guys see that on all images um, right here. So, well here, since I didn't make this, I can't tell you, oh, there's no outline, but if you look at my other screens, or your own screen, you guys will go to the website and you guys will see that stuff is not, doesn't have all black outlines. So I think that's the major problem with this. Um, it outlines everything just to make it sharper. Now I, I get that, like, like at first I thought, oh, this is really good quality. But once you get down to it, it's not real. It, that black outline doesn't exist when you create an image um, for video wise. There's no black outline <laughs> that would be really annoying if there was a black outline on this guy or something like that but on anything else there is a black outline so even if i look here it has a black outline um and 
everything has a black outline with this monitor. So no matter where I go, everything will have a black outline. And that's why I don't like this monitor. So I can't, can't give it a thumbs up, okay? Because images text-wise can't read well because it makes some text kind of bold, other not really. So even if you look at it, it just doesn't work well, okay? So if you guys want to navigate the internet and you have to, you have to read some stuff, right? Even your tabs, if you don't read anything, at least you read your tabs, the title, you can't, you can't do that that well. So I don't recommend this monitor for that reason. I don't recommend it for images either because it gives you always this black outline that doesn't exist and um, even small text you guys will see that big problem that I'm talking about that it should be nice but it looks pretty odd the way that it shows on this monitor and it's not not like that so if you guys have an iPhone or an iPad or anything really that's not this type of monitor then you guys will see what I'm talking about and it's pretty bad Anyways, uh, apart from that, monitor has a, the menus are pretty easy to access. They're pretty nice. That's the first thing that I really liked about this. The menu was pretty nice and easy to get around with. But other than that, I don't like it. Oh yeah, the look, pretty nice monitor. But usefulness, no, no, not at all. Don't get this if you like images or you want to read. Don't get this type of monitor it's just gonna bug you just get another one um that's it for my review if you guys have any questions comments you can write them down here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you